Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards. Akira Boston was supposed to start her junior year at Simeon Career Academy next week. Instead, the 16-year-old was shot and killed yesterday. Police believe her killer was aiming for someone else. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live in Dalton. And Eric, officers are looking for the person that bullet was meant for. Good evening, Erica and Brad. That is exactly right. A village trustee tells me that the person Akira was with Tuesday night lied to detectives, telling them he didn't know her. But surveillance shows something different. And now that trustee wants that person to come forward and help catch Akira's killer. She was never the target. Never the target, and now no longer here. <laughs> Balloons floating towards the sky, some pink, others white. Every kind conveying feelings of hurt as they soar higher. It hurts. It's like a gut-wrenching hurt, too. Daryl Smith is Akira Boston's stepfather. The 16-year-old was set to start her junior year at Simeon Career Academy next week. Instead, a couple hundred people huddled together outside the school in her honor Wednesday. She was shot twice while sitting in a parked car outside this Dalton convenience store the night before. Well, I was just praying and hoping that it wasn't true. The teen later died in the hospital. Village of Dalton trustee Andrew Holmes tells CBS2 the bullets weren't meant for Akira, but the boy she was at the store with. The gunman saw him and... Chased him right to that car two feet while she was sitting in the car. Holmes says the boy lied to detectives, telling them he didn't know Akira, but store surveillance tells a different tale, one where Akira's life was never intended to be taken. Go back, go back to the Dalton detectives, because you lied and said you didn't know her. Go back to the Dalton detectives, turn yourself in, give them the information on who that shooter was shooting at you, because this baby was never the target. I asked for a copy of their surveillance, but detectives tell me they're still working to pursue a few leads before deciding to release that. Furthermore, Holmes says that minutes before the shooting, the village board meeting had just let out trustees uh, proving the funding for the hiring of 15 additional police officers. I'm live in Dalton tonight, Eric Cox, CBS2 News. Brad. Eric, thank you.